Hi guys, come on in, welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> back to my channel so today I have a flat tour for you guys I've been meaning to do this for so long but I've just been so busy I haven't got I haven't had time to really clean my flat and I feel like for these things you really need to clean so I have thoroughly cleaned the place <laughs> it's as clean as it's gonna get so yeah I just wanted to show you around so you can like have more of an idea where I am when I film my videos and stuff you will have seen bits of it like during my vlogs but I just wanted to go around in detail and show you what everything is and everything will be linked in the description box so yeah let's get into it okay so firstly the bedroom is through here so this is the living room that I'm stood in here and it's just off it so I have my clothes around my office all here and then if we take a look through here so it's really like cute and cozy but I actually really like this size it's just perfect for like what I do and just me because I'm really small so like it's a perfect size anything too big I think I would have got a little bit scared living on my own because I'm a bit of a wuss um, but yeah perfect size apologize for the lighting and stuff because it is the gloomiest day ever today it is like torrential rain outside i feel like autumn has actually arrived and i found my first spider this morning it's not good and um, so that means autumn's here so it's really gloomy outside it's like a miserable rainy sunday but it's kind of cozy so follow me so i officially turned into my mother this morning and ironed the sheets <laughs> so this is my bed the actual bed came with the flat so the brown bed not that you can see much of it, it's not mine. So this is the bedroom and I'm first gonna talk you through like my bedding and my cushions and stuff like that. So you might have remembered when I first moved in, I have a brown bed, which I managed to break in the first five minutes. And I originally had like a really purple and cream throw on it, but it was just, cause this room was so small, I just needed something like really crisp and white. So I have some beautiful white bed sheets. I will link them down below. I think they're from Wilkinson's, but I wanted to talk you through my cushion so I have if you've noticed here this beautiful cushion and it's like this geometric kind of print I'll do some close-ups in for you it's from a brand called I hope I'm gonna say this right Aura by JM and most of my cushions in this flat top are from that brand so if you're looking for some really nice good quality cushions then these guys are definitely great so this one is like a gray satiny silk it has like this beautiful thread running through it as well. I often find with like home products or interior design products that it's sometimes a little better to spend a little bit more because they last a lot longer and in the long run will be more cost effective. So sometimes I do think that spending a little bit more on stuff is worthwhile. So I really wanted some good quality cushions. So when I buy them from like Primark or something like that, they go really tatty very, very quickly. And I just thought, cushions like this will last such a long time so I went for this grey kind of like material with like this gold beautiful detailing through it. I'll do some close-ups now but I just absolutely loved this kind of style it was I have like a very specific style when it comes to interior design I like ornate stuff like roses like very clean but with like a little bit of edge to it kind of like my style I guess um but yeah so I just wanted one cushion for the center of my room right there so this is the elegant geometric jacket cushion and it has the same luxurious fabric on both sides Aura by JM are passionate about making products of an outstanding quality and great craftsmanship they also promise to place fairness at the center of everything they do so next up we have this area over here so it's directly opposite my bed so I'm going to talk you through a few of the things you might see my clothes rails are here and then I have like a little dressing table area here so let me show you this is the area directly in front of my bed as you can see in the mirror behind I have to have the lights on because it's so glum today but this is my clothes rail right here you might have seen it very very often but I just wanted to talk you this came with the flat it's like a brown um like dress like dresser I don't know what to call it drawers and it has my underwear in my socks and then I just have a porter magazine and this is something that um Chi Chi London sent me but I really like it R put a ring on it. it was when the royals got married but it's really handy I probably should put my rings on here but my fingers are so small they don't really fit <laughs> and then this mirror came with the flat so I'm not entirely sure where it's from but I will try and link something similar down below and then over here we just have my clothes now this is not the most organized situation 
I know, I know. But this is a very cut down summer wardrobe. So this isn't my winter stuff, this is just my summer stuff. And it's just part of my wardrobe because there's a lot of wardrobes around the flat. But um, I started to get all the same hangers and then I realized how expensive a lot of hangers were. So we jibbed that off and we only have like, we have mixed. And I know it doesn't look very good, but um, it will do for now, I guess. So these are my clothes. And then if we walk around here, we have the dressing table situation. So you guys might have remembered too that I actually broke the dressing table within the first five minutes of moving into this flat. So my lovely landlady came around a couple of days later with <laughs> the sparkliest dressing table ever. So this is where this came from. So this is my dressing table situation. These drawers are filled with makeup. We have like palettes, we have eyelashes, and I think this is just cotton butts. <laughs> so really useful those little drawers underneath it, but I actually really like it. It's very like it's very me. And then on this dressing table just here, I have a Jo Malone candle. Let's see which one it is. What have we got? Lime, basil, and mandarin. I think this was one of the first things that I ever got gifted like years ago and I just haven't I wanted to use it. And then this is me. Hi me. This is the mirror that I use. These little mirrors are really handy. I do my makeup tutorials with this. It's perfect size for like fitting next to a camera and stuff because it's really long and thin. Um, and then these beautiful flowers here. I just bought these from Wilkinson's again. Wilco's whatever you like to call it. So yeah, that is my dressing table situation. And then let's make our way over to here. Okay, so these shelves next to my bed are probably <laughs> the most colorful shoes because i have most of my shoes in my living space and these are the colorful ones because i kind of wanted that to be more muted the colors and these are kind of hidden away so here you will find my multicolored shoes <laughs> particularly red ones so it's just next to a bed so i have my bed here and then this is the shelving unit next to it so if we start on the top shelf we have my medium-sized handbags and then we move on to a kind of smaller sized handbag selection. <laughs> See what I did there? So I always know where to go for like a certain size bag. And then if we come low, we have, I'm missing a shoe guys. And I have no idea where it's gone. <laughs> How do you lose one shoe? So we have these beautiful red ones. As I said, the like the red and the blue are in the corner because I didn't want them in the living room. And then we have this row of shoes. And then I did have shoes all the way down, but I didn't like it next to my bed. So here we have all like magazines. We have Notion Mag, Porter, Magnify, and then some cool books that I've like been given a lot of them. This is Vivian Westwood book and then this I love this book it's um, called The World According to Carl, Carl Lagwood um, but it's so funny and this is a big you know because I can't keep plants alive this was had my rose bush in and I just filled it with all my brushes if you're thinking a woman doesn't need this many brushes I really beg to differ <laughs> I do so over here we have the latest port magazine I love port magazine I think it's my favorite I'm not gonna lie love a good flick through port magazine and then we have just my Dior products here because I'm shooting with them at the moment so this is my latest campaign you may or may not have seen and then here we have my makeup so we have lips, we have base, and we have eyes. So whichever I'm doing, I will bring out and then put away when I finish. And then we have boots. Okay, so now if you walk to the other side of my bed, I managed to squeeze in the tiniest shelf <laughs> ever. But this is really handy to store a lot of stuff. So let me talk you through what I have on this shelf. So up top we have my cameras, which I'm using most of them to film this video right now. So one is up there. That's a lens that I use and then here is like all my costume jewelry which I'm not going to show you inside because it's very much tangled but this is a Jimmy shoe box that I got gifted um what did I think I, I think the purse came in it or the perfume um and then I have this Aveda chakra feeling the harmony and I spray this just before I go to bed all over my room because it, it makes me zen out apparently and then I have my watch selection this isn't actually all of them a few of them are at the jewelers going like fitted at the moment but um I say jewelers I mean my dad my dad fi fixes my watches to like suit my wrist size because I've got teeny wrists and oh yeah and I have one on focus yeah that bad boy and then 
Here we have the sunglasses collection. I feel like we're really delving into the nooks and crannies of my flat now. So this is the sunglass selection. I like a good sunglass, so we have them all down here. And then at the very bottom, we have my Gucci shoes on a Gucci box with what you'll find like about five pounds from every single country in the whole entire world. <laughs> it might actually stop filming some videos here. Quite like the backdrop. It's kind of like very sleek so whenever anyone stays like my mum comes to stay a lot my sister has stayed my friends come to stay so my mum's actually here all the time she helps me a lot with my job and stuff more than you probably even know she's so good at just like helping me out so i like to leave towers out like beautiful clean towers i just think there's nothing better than i get when people come around i get the posh soap out and the clean towels <laughs> so i have some towels by aura by jm again and they are Turkish cotton which is the softest kind of cotton that you could ever imagine now I used to buy my towels really cheap and then you'd put them in the wash a couple of times and I just have to buy more and I ended up with like a hundred monkey towels so again it's one of those things that if you I find if you pay a little bit more for you don't have to keep renewing them so it's actually turns out a little less expensive so I picked up these beautiful towels they are so soft I actually think they'd make a really beautiful wedding gift like just look at the detail of these it has like these beautiful ribbon details on like the diamonds around this little pearl just so so beautiful just to leave on the edge of a bed like when someone stays over or even in like your guest bathroom if you <laughs> you have a house big enough for that i live in a one bed flat in chelsea so like <laughs> we're not quite there yet but um yeah just beautiful beautiful material and they have like this r rose like rushing on the side i'll do some close-ups for you so whenever anyone stays i just leave a pile of towels on the bed like this so they know exactly where to find them like they don't need to ask they're just there ready and waiting and look at the beautiful detailing on these they're so gorgeous also when my mum comes to stay i like to get out her very own dressing gown and it's again this beautiful like turkish cotton it is so so soft and i just find mums love stuff like this so i love getting this out for her so when she arrives she feels so at home and there's this like beautiful beautiful lace embroidery on it as well it's absolutely beautiful again really perfect for like bridal stuff i love this so now we have the living room now this is my favorite space and you guys will have seen it in the back of my videos i just love this area it's my little go-to and you might have noticed jeff the ball <laughs> um he is a new arrival but yeah it's like a lilac -y kind of theme and i love the textures i love the everything so again we have the beautiful cushions by aura by jm we have this one at the end and then we have this one i'll do again some close-ups but you can tell the difference so this is a primark one and these are like the good quality ones and i feel like you can just see the difference which i might get rid of this middle one <laughs> because these are just so beautiful in comparison i have have the throw over the top and then I have this purple one here as well if we head over here we have like my geometric table with some fashion books on it I have Vogue Chanel Dior and some flowers which I probably still need to find a vase for and then we have this lampshade which is like actually just the perfect height above the couch and yeah that's the couch area so these cushions I have here this one is like a pink leopard print but kind of shiny I absolutely love it I think it's velvet but whatever it is, it's beautiful it also has like this lilac -y purple border which fits perfectly with my theme so very happy about that and then this one is it's beautiful like geometric pattern again the same kind of velvet but you can really see the difference between a good quality cushion and like one from Primark <laughs> <laughs> like the difference is so insane so Aura by JM do two different types of cushion padding and I have both of them with me right now so I can show you the difference white goose down and feather cushion pad so that is this one and it's what is in all the cushions that I have it's like a beautiful really thick squishy material so it's not too hard but it's like really thick and a really nice beautiful feel to it I don't know if you can see like the texture when I I know it's in a plastic bag but um, I didn't want to open it but like you can see how nice it is to like you know when cushions stay really nice like if you look at this cushion it stays in a really nice shape and I think that's down to the the 
padding inside so it makes such a difference. Then we have the premium microfiber cushion pad, which is this one. And I believe if I opened it, it would go into a cushion. So this is more like a softer, really delicate cushion, very much a lighter kind of fabric. So whichever is your preference, there's two different types there. So I know some people like a big, like feathery cushion or some people like the microfiber so it's great that they give you two, two different options there. I will also be doing a giveaway at the end of this video with Aura by JM so there's three different prizes to give away so stay tuned to the end to find out how you can enter. So over here we have a smaller geometric table which is goes really nicely with this one it's like a smaller version and then obviously these boxes aren't usually there but they're really nice. Over here we have this mirror which is from the range it has like this really nice beautiful like kind of ornate feel to it and then the pictures all my pictures in this flat is from decennio i really felt like it went in with the theme really nicely and then right next to the couch we have these two decennio prints i have this ballet one because you guys know that i used to do ballet for like 21 years and then we have a coco chanel one and i love this quote on here I don't do fashion, I am fashion, but I thought they went really nicely together just above this table. Okay, so next we have the kitchen if you just walk through here. This is where the magic happened. <laughs> I'm laughing because I really can't cook at all, nor can I keep plants alive, but we're really trying. This is attempt two at the rose bush. But yeah, this is the kitchen. It's just off the living room. Um, I'm not really a kitchen kind of person. I like to keep cooking to a minimum. I don't think I've ever turned the oven on, maybe like once or twice. Um, but yeah, it's really handy. It's quite, my flat's not very big, but like it's really like just perfect for my size. So just next to the sofa, is the kitchen so very very basic kitchen and it was like really industrial when i came so like i had to really home it up so i have another plant which i bought maybe yesterday and it's already on the way out it looks like it's dying already so i officially cannot look after plants i've watered it every day probably doing something wrong and i'm sure you people that love plants are going to tell me that i am <laughs> so this is a bayless and harding soap i just like a very nice soap next to the sink very self this was really industrial as well so i keep the sink thingy in it and then we have a draining board we have some oils over here and then a breadboard and then these cute little pots these are from argos um one says tea sugar and coffee but I drink normal tea and then here is like one little bit of coffee and then this one I don't have sugar like actual sugar so this is what I called green tea roulette so we have a number of different green teas in here like lemon pear blueberry green tea roulette <laughs> then we have my kettle which I polish for some reason because I like it to be shiny and then we have a cooker and then over here, this was again a really horrible area because it was the boiler. So I hid it with this print from Decenio. It says fashion on it. Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Note to self, guys. Then we have some roses, my favorite. I love like really muted roses. These are like a really beautiful green to pink. Really nice from Marks and Spencer. I like them. And then we have... This my sister bought me. It's from Mox and Spencer's. Again, it's this beautiful little candle. And then I have a thank you card from actually Next Watches. <laughs> I actually wanted to show you my mug collection whilst we're here because I kind of like me mugs. I have a bit of a mug fetish, I'm not going to lie. So I have like this color coordination going on and I have one here with the letter L on it for Laura. Oh, lovely, depending on what you want. So here is my pride and joy. I love shoes. <laughs> I love pink ones, I love sparkly ones, I love black ones, I love every kind of shoe. They're my babies. Um, it's just something about shoes that I just love. So yeah, this is where I keep a lot of my shoes, not all of them. I actually have a lot more shoes like in boxes and in different wardrobes and stuff, but these are the main ones that I like to like grab. As I said, a lot of the colorful ones are in my bedroom because we have like this muted kind of 
theme going on because I wanted it to be in keeping with like the living room space color. So the colored ones are in my bedroom, but let me talk you a few of my favorite shoes. So starting at the bottom, we have some boots. Over here, we have these fabulous sparkly ones, some studded ones, and then these riding boots, which I wore the other day that you guys saw, the knee-high boots. So all my boots are like over the knee because I just like that style. And then we have like flat shoes so we have like little pumps belly pumps sliders i like an embellished shoe are you guessing <laughs> and then we have some boots over here some ankle boots and then some sparkly stud shoes purple ones and then we go on to like black embellished ones we've got some ones with pearls on all my shoes are very inexpensive guys so very affordable they're all from high street kind of brands um i like a valentino dupe <laughs> as you can probably sense and then these are like mustard shoes this dress is from rare london which i believe has shut down now so unfortunately guys it is no longer in stock but it's just beautiful so i just love hanging it there we have some zara some chanel dupes with a little pearl on some black court heels and then up here we have like my really everyday ankle boots and like you'll see a theme that most of them are black and gold <laughs> and then up here we have a lot of the handbags that I use most regularly like these are all my go-to handbags perfect to like fit cameras in purses in so really handy sizes and the ones that I use the most so this is my shoe shelf from top to bottom I love it it's so aesthetically pleasing isn't it and then over here we have the new Louis Vuitton which I bought the other day which you guys would have seen in my vlog and a mirror that is from, again, the range. They do really good mirrors in the range. And I think this rug is from Next, but I'm not sure. So I'll link it down below or tell you where it's from below. So if we walk to the back of the living space, this is probably where I spend 99% of my time. So this is my desk. This area over here is my office area because I have a one bed flat. The living room is pretty much my wardrobe, my office, my dressing room. One day, I hopefully will have somewhere a little bit bigger, but for now, it's a perfect space for like my first flat by myself in London. So I'm very happy with it, but this area right here is what I would call my office. And it's where everything happens and probably where I spend like 99% of my time. You will catch me here on a Saturday night, typing away or like editing away like this is my computer <laughs> this is where I am so behind me I have my new in rail so these are things that I have to shoot or wanting to shoot just things that have come in not everything makes it onto the Instagram or the YouTube channel but I pretty much like to get everything on there I like put things into themes and just generally have a little brainstorm in this area so anything that comes through the door to my PO box will arrive on this this rail here and then get whittled down and then on the bottom of it I have like the beauty products so if I take you down the bottom we have new in beauty so that's like anything to do with skin hair like beauty products that aren't makeup because in this one we have new in makeup so I usually pick out things that I want to shoot when I like show you new in things I physically cannot do everything so like some of this does go to my friends so anyone that walks through the door I do give a goodie bag to and then in here is a like underneath here is a few campaigns few watches and then again another collaboration that I have to do and some studded trainers which just haven't made it onto the YouTube channel yet but I like them so they're sticking there and then around this corner we have the bags the accessories the hats just on the end over here so the chair is from a brand called inspirations which is like a second shop but I think it's from Tesco's or something like that originally Black desk is from Ikea. And then we have another print from Decenio behind my computer. And then there's like a few little like trinkets here. This is where I keep all like my memory cards and stuff in this little box here. And then my sister or my mum, I can't remember who got this done for me. It's a coaster that says London Fashion Girl on. And I'm very glad London Fashion Girl is back in London now because it makes sense. My little notebook and then my little 
um, business cards. I always find these handy to like pop in my purse. I've had these for years. I got them done years ago. A fluffy pen because you know if you're gonna have a pen you might as well be extra. And then this like industrial kind of light. So this is the desk situation. I'm hoping one day my 100k plaque will be here. So over here Aura by JM actually sent me a few of the products to show you guys just to show you like a few more examples. So this is a towel set with like beautiful ornate lace on it. You guys at the end of this video have a chance to win one of their towel sets so keep on watching to see how to enter. This is one with beautiful rose embroidery on which actually has a dressing gown to match. A lot of the towels do have the gowns to match. They have this beautiful, they're so soft to touch, I love them. And then this is a really nice like white and pink one, like with a really nice texture on it. Then over here we have another dressing gown as well with this beautiful gorgeous lace. It's like super soft, I can't even describe it. They also have a beautiful selection of bath mats. Here you can see it's the same really soft material and the lace as well detailing is just so so ornate and like different. So this next room is the bathroom. Now it's very small, there is no bath, but I feel like I've made the most of a very small space. I really do miss a miss a bath so I hope if I, I move it's like one of the priorities because one of the, my favorite things to do is like have a bubble bath watch YouTube I miss it so let's start off over here I have like a shelf um it has some knickknacks on it let me show you firstly we have this incense sticks or whatever you call it this is from Aldi it's the Joe Malone dupe and I got the pomegranate flavor which is number three i loved it it really tied in well with like the black kind of theme so this is my beauty bag for when i go away it's ted baker i have a bigger one as well in the same fabric and then this is a little bunch of roses from wilco's i really shopped at wilco's for my flat it's really handy and then over here we have these beautiful towels i showed you before these are mine in the bathroom i just absolutely love them how beautiful do they look just like in your bathroom they make such a difference they are again by aura by jm and just look at this detailing isn't that gorgeous perfect for like guest towels or anything like that absolutely fabulous if we make our way over to the sink area very simple we have this beautiful little thing for my toothbrush i use the phillips one if that excites anyone and then we have another little soap decanter from Wilco's. I really like soap decanters. I hate like bars of soap or anything like that. And then on the floor, I just have an Aura by JM bath mat. This is the one I liked the best. And I thought it was like the perfect theme to go in with the floor. If we turn around this way, we have another decennio print. I love this. A good life is when you assume nothing, smile often, dream big. You guys have seen this before I've showed you. And then down here we have some fragrances. This is the shelving like unit that I keep all my fragrances. Some are new in, some are old. Some of my favourites are Victor and Ralph Flower Bar Nectar is a good old favourite of mine. Love this one. Also an absolute classic which I love. You guys know that I go on about this a lot. This is the Amelia Pucci Vivora Turquoise Edition and I absolutely love the smell. So this was the original one that I had years ago and then I, it, it got discontinued and I loved it so much that I have bought it off eBay. And then I have the other Amelia Pucci's as well and then down here we have some like body lotions to go with the fragrance. So this is the Victor and Rolf fragrance. So now competition time. You may have noticed I am surrounded by boxes. So you guys are in with a chance to win a box. There are three to give away and I have the instructions right here. So let's have a read. So to be in with the chance to win one of these towel sets, all you have to do is one, go to Aura by JM and pin one of the products on Pinterest. Like on Facebook, post on Instagram, any one of the products that you like. So if you guys fancy one for yourself, that is the rules and good luck i hope you liked my flat door and now when i do my vlogs you'll have more of an idea of where i am and like what's around me and stuff so hopefully you get more of an insight into my little london life my little flat i love it <laughs> i feel so content here so all the products to aura by jm i will also leave in the description box and i will see you soon for another video